Even though I sometimes see faraway places and future events, nothing can ever be truly certain. I knew you were coming to rescue me, but that didn't alleviate my fear. I thought I was going to die in Mafala's realm. Thank you. As an oracle, I can connect with other times, other places. I sometimes use that ability to converse with the Sigic Rite Master to keep him informed of events on Nern. Mafala's agents tried to use that connection to locate the hidden island. No, you arrived in time to stop them. But it was a close thing. The portal was nearly attuned to Arteum's location when you set me free. And once again, the visions that haunt me came to pass. I have no idea. Just because I can sense the island and reach out to communicate with the Rite Master doesn't mean I actually understand the magic they use. I'm a Weiris, not a Sijic. It's somewhere else. That's all I really know. Oh, everything I saw remains true. The Dark Princes continue to circle Somerset like vultures around Carrion, and they still crave Arteum and its secrets. Your presence will play a pivotal role in the outcome. Good luck, my friend. Not that I was overly concerned, but I see you were able to retrieve the Oracle. Care to tell me what happened? Mafala. She must be one of the three Dark Princes in Mariv's prophecy. You stopped this attempt, but I fear Somerset and Arteum are still in danger. We? Because of the connection to the Sigic Order, I have to tread carefully. The Right Master, we don't exactly see eye to eye. You'll need to go to Somerset. Determine if the threat Mariv foresaw is imminent or a worry for another day. Yes, the Ultima have a few peculiar notions. But, as luck would have it, I heard that Queen Irene has just issued a decree to open Somerset to immigrants and visitors. That's the perfect excuse for you to investigate the island. We'll show Mariv the hospitality of the Mages Guild and make sure she's fully recovered from her ordeal. Then I'll make sure to get her back home. Thanks for your aid in this matter. Now, get to Somerset and do what you do best, my friend. A few of my colleagues are anxious to meet you, Mariv. I suppose, after I examine your garden and collect my thoughts, if that's all right. Of course, Oracle. Come inside whenever you're ready. The cat! The island sprung a leak! Run! First, the Queen issues a decree that changes the status of Somerset from an isolated paradise into a tourist attraction. Now, monsters, sea creatures, I've never seen anything like them. Well, I say let the cat fight them. Better him than me. Suddenly, the ground opened, spewing water and strange creatures. They attacked us. Luckily, one of the newcomers, a Khajiit, leaped in and drove them back. Called himself Razum Dar. He could probably use some help if you're so inclined. My friend, Raz is happy to see you, but surprised you didn't help me with these creatures. Not that Raz needed any help. You must tell me what brought you to Somerset after you agreed to assist Raz with his usual cloak and dagger business. Ominous. No more than usual, my friend. 
But there's work for the Queen's Eye, and this one could use an extra blade if you're willing. Queen Irene issued a decree to open the borders of Somerset and allow outsiders to have access to the island. That's what Raz said, but rumors reached the Queen. So this one made the journey and was immediately attacked by strange creatures. Raz doesn't think the two are related, but if you could ask some questions, check on the newcomers, that would help. While you ask questions around the city, Raz can take care of some other business. It may or may not involve scratching and clawing. Let's meet near the entrance to Shimmerin when you have something to report. As a matter of fact, Raz made a list. Old Newell, a high elf artisan, spoke out. See what she complained about. Then there's Soxolza, a persecuted Argonian newcomer. Finally, Ranul, a city resident noted in the Divine Prosecution's observation log. True, not enough syllables. Ranul's a red guard, whose family has lived in Shimarin for generations. He's a well-respected trader, with a few warehouses along the docks. Talk to him, before the Divine Prosecution decides to arrest him. The Divine Prosecution serves as lawkeepers and protectors of social standards. Very persnickety. When the rules are broken, they record it in their observation logs. If your name winds up on their list, things get complicated. 